Hey there, I'm Mr. Terry. I'm a high school history teacher. Welcome back to another History Teacher Reacts video. All right, it's been a while since we covered some Doc U. DeBerry funny short videos, and I got to get caught up on the new ones, but there are some of the popular ones that I've not seen yet, so I want to get those done first. So this one looked really funny. Here's the title. Could the U.S. have won independence without the 2009 Dodge Challenger? Is this the unsung hero of the American Revolution? All right, I'm excited to see what they have to say. All right, original videos down below. Make sure you're watching these guys. All right, let's get started. All right, call me a bad historian, but I do not really know about the role the 2009 Dodge Challenger had in the American Revolution. I think I'm gonna need to get an education here. All right, let's see what we got. As George Washington sat revving yeah. his V6 250 horsepower engine, after literally yeah. driving circles around the British Army at Yorktown, <laughs> literally he driving. spit out a sentence to Lord Cornwallis that would thrive yeah, take through that, corn. the remainder of America's existence. Stay strapped or get clapped. <laughs> Hi, I'm Doc Udabery, the passenger Dr. side Dubbery. chair historian, and today we are going to be looking into the American fight for independence. And that fight's dependent go. on the most important car in Western history. And no, I don't mean this kind of car. The Buick history. Conference? Although we do cover <laughs> that kind of... <laughs> go back to that. And no, I don't mean... Yeah, it's like the Berlin Conference. <laughs> but it was Buicks. Oh, these are so funny. Uh, that was a video. I don't. I haven't seen this one. What were the cars doing from 39 to this 45? This kind of car history. Although we do cover love that concept. kind of car history on this channel as well. Cartholicism. <laughs> George Washington is perhaps best known for having fake teeth yeah. and a questionable Wood moral teeth. character. But did you know he also helped found the United States and even served as its first president? What? Named after the city of Washington, D.C., George Washington was not only a six-foot dude making six figures. By the way, he was huge. He was huge for his time period. Big, giant, redhead, uh, posing guy that way when people were, like, you know, this tall. They were all Napoleon height back then. But he was also one of the few people in America who saved for retirement and owned an automobile. George Washington was the proud owner of a 2009 200 Dodge years before Challenger they were invented. with off-roading capabilities and a 3.5 liter oh, engine. Dear. Naturally, being a significant historical artifact, this muscle car has made several appearances yeah, one. on Pawn Stars. Oh, he got the one from Pawn Stars? When George Washington wasn't busy starting multinational global conflicts that would last for a minimum of seven years, he would seven do years some car-related heists, yeah. spend time with his family, <laughs> and wait for the day his country needed him. Yeah. That he was boosting cars with Vin Diesel forever. The other part of his life. That's what he was doing when he wasn't fighting the French in the Seven Years' War, the French and Indian War in the U.S. He was out there boosting cars. They Heck would yeah. come in the mid 1770s That's my president. When the Continental Breakfast Club called up George Washington <laughs> to defend Continental the United Breakfast States Club. <laughs> from paying its fair share in taxes. George took up the call to arms, driving his Dodge Challenger to New England, where he would take command of the U.S. Army and fight the British IRS. <laughs> By all British accounts, IRS. George Washington <laughs> was an unconventional military leader, to say the least. While his British adversaries... Look, you, prefer like, well, uh, you see how... Okay, he's not just like... Okay, I like this choice here. He's not just like driving a car. He's riding it like it's a horse. ...military leader, to say the least. While his British adversaries preferred volleying fire and marching in lines, Washington bright red preferred coat. to use his Dodge Challenger to either screen for a withdrawal oh, or an attack. America. When it came to commercial. breaking the British naval blockade at Boston, George was able yeah. to haul cannons from yeah. Fort Ticonderoga to Massachusetts Let's go. in record time. Using Beat the British, but well, his Dodge Challenger. <laughs> twice, I was going to say. With his Challenger, he could quickly move troops, messages, conduct flanking maneuvers, and even do a couple grub hub <laughs> runs to help finance the yeah. war efforts. <laughs> That's what he's doing between the dudes doing Uber Eats. To, to 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 beat everyone. See, it's such an advantage. Go back in time, get yourself a car 100 years before they were invented. Every time it appeared the Continental Army would be destroyed by the better equipped Continental and trained Breakfast British Army. Army, 
Washington would use Uber. his Dodge Challenger <laughs> to conduct an orderly Uber retreat, keeping his army from being destroyed. Eventually, this tactic would wear down the British so much that they finally relented yep. and granted America independence. See, I want to really think that he did literal donuts around <laughs> Cornwallis and Yorktown. We win! Surrender! A decision that would eventually cost them trillions of dollars. Yeah. And that, my friends, is exactly how America came to be. Yeah. Now, for those of you looking to judge Crossing George Washington for driving a gas-powered car, keep in mind he was a product of his era, yeah. and electric cars had yet to be invented. Yeah, we can't, we can't judge him. <laughs> we can't judge him based off of today's moral values. All right. For selecting this video for the month. Who's gas guzzling? Oh my gosh, I've missed these. Final thoughts. I seriously have missed these. I haven't watched these in a while, and I, I don't know why. I, I had done um, like commentary reaction videos to them when they first started. And I think they were they're still very new. So like the views weren't as high. I'm hoping this time around people already know to the channel because I know I understand that most people come to my channel because they're aware of the original video, not just because I'm covering it. <laughs> I understand that. Um, so I'm hoping now like it's it's been months, I think, since I've covered one that um, we get more and more people doing this uh, uh, coming over because this is a lot of fun. It's, lo it's something I'd love to be able to do to be able to cover, you know, short videos like this and just have some fun real quick. And I know I like it's one of those things where I don't want to interject too much like I do for normal like documentary videos because I understand it's 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 funny. It's comedic. And I don't know if you're really looking for like some history lesson from a quick essentially meme. I don't know. I'd actually like some feedback. Is this the type of one that I should do as much pausing and commenting on? about like the actual like for this one the actual like 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 what the french and indian war was actually like for him during this uh, as part of the seven years war and then what was going on i mean obviously i'm not going to stop and be like they didn't have cars back then but i don't know what do you guys think should my format should be on stuff i, I mean you literally just want to see me laugh i always felt that was uh it, you know I've, I've, I've always tried to not be that kind of like reactor but like provide insight but i understand sometimes it depends on the videos so anyway i'd love to get your feedback on that and other which other docu to bury videos i should check out best way to um connect with me on that is to drop suggestions in the video suggestions channel that's on my discord server it's the best place to do that it gets hard in comments because i have nearly 700 videos and they all have lots of comments so it's hard for me to see all those um anyways okay with this this is a lot of fun go to the original video get that propped up and then come on back for some more fun we'll see you next time